What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk about the Ripple stablecoin, which has officially gone live. The lawsuit outcomes and the next steps. Huge conference on AI and blockchain technology talking about the next bull run and when it's going to be. And then wrap up with some great analysis on the XRP chart from YouTubers Waters Above. Really quick, if you guys want $41 for free, sign up with Webull, deposit one penny and you get $41 in free stocks. Sell your stocks, close your account, do whatever you want. But it's an easy way to get 41 bucks just for depositing a penny. And if you need a link to get some, uh, some XRP, some Bitcoin, some Ethereum, Uphold is where I get my XRP every week. So you can find a link to Webull and Uphold in the video description below. So Bitcoin's sitting at about 61K. Uh, XRP is around the 59 cent range. And let's talk about this lawsuit really quick. So the SEC had asked for $2 billion. Ultimately, Ripple only paid $125 million. And they have no problem with that whatsoever. You had Brad Garlinghouse tune in. You had the chief legal officer, Stuart Alderati, tune in. Uh, but two other lawyers had things to say about this. Uh, former SEC lawyer Mark Fagel explained the agency has 60 days to appeal the Ripple SEC case. It can also happen after Ripple pays the penalties in 30 days. If they do file an appeal, presumably the money will be held pending the resolution of an appeal. Another attorney, Fred Rispoli, who's on the XRP side, mentioned that Ripple Labs will only cross appeal if the SEC appeals first. Interestingly enough, the agency has also not used appeal language or redacted or reacted strongly against the decision. They know they lost. Also, the company continues to believe that its current XRP sales no longer fall into the securities categories. So it's finally happened. XRP is the first cryptocurrency with pure regulatory clarity. And if you guys do want to support the channel, the best way it's free, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike. And if you have some positive or negative feedback, leave that in the comment section below. XRP has replicated a similar bullish pattern in the form of a hidden bullish divergence that took place in 2016, 2017, occurring just before a 62,000% climb. The bullish pattern looks to be complete and XRP may be right in the early stages of his next colossal climb. We've been talking about this seven year pendant on the XRP chart a lot recently. And it doesn't mean XRP is gonna break out tomorrow, next week. What it does mean though is XRP is primed for a breakout. It's looking just like how it was in 2017, 2018. And the thing to keep in mind, XRP when it does move, moves very quick. This 60,000% gain, which is a 600X return, happened in the matter of like two or three weeks. So I know it's been seven years. It's hard to tell people to wait even longer, but if you've been holding for years at this point, what is a few more months? What is a few more years? Um, the XRP price chart could not be looking any more bullish right now. Mr. Man XRP says bull run confirmed 2024, 2025 by the AIBC World Summit. It's one of the leading events globally for blockchain, AI, crypto, and other emerging technologies. After the elections, crypto should go on a tear. Let's take a listen. Run to see whichever stable coin you're using. You're obviously uh, protecting yourself, but do I think there's going to be a bull run? I can't predict the market, but it's, uh, it feels like the time is right. You know, the likes of ETH and uh, uh, BTC have slightly come up good. And the problem is, this is the problem with, with, with trying to predict a bull run. Um, now I'm going to um, bars, clubs, restaurants, pubs, family events, and people are talking about crypto. So automatically in my mind i'm thinking it's perhaps a little bit too late because these this is where the layman starts coming in and and that last uh, push comes before the next pullback so i think you know I, I'd, I'd be cautious at this level but i i think over 24 and 25 there would be a bull run yeah well I so i think a lot of people can agree with that be cautious right now obviously bitcoin is close to its all-time highs typically you don't want to be buying assets when they're close to their all-time highs xrp on the other hand way off its all-time highs it's at a pretty good accumulation zone but you never know when the market is this high um and like he said bull run 2024 2025 not too far-fetched the so ripple net has been doing a lot of work in the philippines and this guy chad steingrabber was able to get the bank ids connected to ripple net from the philippines and there's some big banks here you have bank of america bank of china the bank of the philippine islands which is a big bank in the philippines and these are all banks that are plugged into RippleNet, currently using RippleNet in the Philippines. Why the Philippines? It's one of the biggest remittance corridors. A lot of people in the Philippines work um, either outside of the country or work in the country for a company outside of the country. So there's a lot of cross-border payments going on there, and it's a great case study for what Ripple's doing with their payments. 
on-demand liquidity ODL is gone. Long live Ripple Payments. Customers of Ripple Payments no longer need agreements with exchanges, bailments accounts to interact with XRP in any shape or form. Ripple has rebranded ODL, streamlined, and yes, XRP is used. Genius. Ripple now moves the XRP and it's converted to the destination currency to the payout partner. Can you see what they have done slash still building? The Ripple USD will play a crucial role in this too. Explain to me why companies in the U.S. can't use XRP for cross-border payments now. They are not touching XRP. And you can see right here, um, today is the birthday of the Ripple USD stablecoin. We're excited to share that Ripple USD is now in the private beta on the XRP ledger and Ethereum mainnet. It has not yet received regulatory approval and therefore is not available for purchase or trading. Please be cautious of scammers. And Chad Steigengrapper once again links. This is the first beta address of the Ripple USD stablecoin. Uh, I guess it went live this beta on 8-8, so two days ago. But this Ripple stablecoin is, when you think of Ripple, you just think of cross-border payments and XRP. But I make the analogy to Amazon a lot. Amazon started out as just an online bookstore. Now they have Amazon Web Services and they sell practically everything online, dominating the supply chain. Ripple starts with cross-border payments. Uh, in the future, I think they're going to have their hands in a lot more different things. And I think the stablecoin is an example of that. But back to this tweet right here, talking about Ripple Payments Direct. It allows you to connect to Ripple as a payment provider by using Ripple Payment Direct. You have a direct financial arrangement with Ripple for cross-border fiat payment services. Ripple takes care of delivering payments to beneficiaries, managing payout partners, providing funds to payout partners, and paying charges in exchange for payment delivery. Data flow. You, the payment originator, originator, provide Ripple with payment instructions through the UI. Ripple ensures that your selected beneficiary receives the funds. Ripple payments UI shows you key events as your payment moves through the different stages of his life cycle, which is really important because payment providers, they want to see that transparency. They want to see the tracking on their payments. Once the payment is complete, Ripple adds the payment transaction to your invoice. Features. Simplified customer onboarding experience and general cross-border payment process. This is big time because a lot of people using Ripple payments won't be blockchain native. They won't be cryptocurrency informed. And so you have to be able to onboard people seamlessly without them having crypto knowledge. No crypto needed. No need to hold or manage crypto. Another big thing with the onboarding process. Payment network. A network of payout partners for the last mile payment delivery on optimized payment paths to reach a beneficiary. Compliance. Guarantee that transactions are compliant with local and national regulations. Auto retry. The system retries payments automatically on your behalf. The payment flow. You, the sending customer, enter the payment information into Ripple Payment UI. Intermediary Ripple Node 2 validates the transaction. If both the risk and compliance checks are successful, Ripple approves said transaction. The payout partner now validates the transaction. If their compliance checks are successful, they approve the transaction. XRP is moved and converted to the destination currency for distribution by the payout partner. The payout partner completes the payment by sending the funds to the beneficiary. So you can think of regular payments right now, whether it's Visa, MasterCard, even Swift, this is this, same thing, just on steroids. Um, head lawyer, head general counsel for Coinbase, who's also in a legal battle with the SEC. This guy is also very good friends with the head lawyer, Stuart Alderati of Ripple. And he made a great tweet here. Secondary sales of Bitcoin, not securities transactions. Secondary sales of Ethereum, not securities transactions. Until recently, secondary sales of XRP, not security transactions. Everyone else, according to our friends of the SEC government, too bad because you've somehow got an ecosystem. Talking about Coinbase. Please explain how this makes sense. I do think it's just a matter of time before this Coinbase lawsuit reaches a similar outcome to the XRP lawsuit in a favorable win for Coinbase. And just a quick warning here, guys. you got to watch out for the kind of information you consume in this community. Um, this guy puts out a lot of just BS information just to get clicks, just to make money off you guys. Um, he puts this picture of Google saying that, yes, the Federal Reserve plans to take ownership of Ripple XRP as a global payment solution. Not sure if this is edited or whatnot, but that's totally just uh, assumption. There's no evidence of this whatsoever. So do be weary of these people in the community just trying to siphon money from you and give you BS information. 
And I want to wrap it up with this comment from Waters Above about the XRP chart. Take a listen. I'm going to go over to our XRP chart and you'll see over the past 24 hours, XRP is right back to its local resistance level around 60 cents. And I know many of you are saying to yourselves, well, if Ripple essentially just won this case, why is XRP not at all time highs already? What's going on? And although that's a valid question, you have to remember that this whole SEC versus Ripple case was a staged ritual and actually only plays a small role in the XRP price. And if you listen to any of the interviews that I've had with the bearable bull, also shout out to the bull, then you would have heard me say tons of times that this SEC case coming to a conclusion will not be as significant of an impact on the XRP price as Bitcoin price discovery would. And I've said this hundreds of times over the past two to three years. It's not news to anyone who supports this channel. Now, let me clarify what I mean by that. And we could start by showing a very popular example, which is this moment right here, what I'm calling phase three, April 2021. This was only about four months into the SEC versus Ripple case. We watched XRP go from this dump at the end of 2020 all the way at 17 down at 17 cents to almost $2. It made a 1000% move near the beginning of the Ripple SEC case. Then when we compare it to what XRP did just last year on July 13th, when Ripple had its first big win in this case, when Judge Torres deemed XRP not a security, XRP was not even able to make it up to a dollar. All the while, Bitcoin is up at 50% from its 2017 cycle peak, and XRP during this moment was 70% lower than its current all-time high, which was all the way back at the beginning of 2018. Now, this is not to compare. This is not to say that one is better than the other. What I shared just a moment ago was not FUD. It was not anti-XRP. It was not a negative outlook on XRP. It was purely technical analysis, facts that are going on in this chart data without any emotions or tribalism getting in the way of the analysis. Remember, here we're not picking sides. We're just going through this process so that we could become sophisticated dec uh, decoders and investors amongst gamblers. And this is really what's sucking a lot of people into the crypto vortex is they're just sold on these insane theories and they put all of their life savings into these theories. And then when people like me who are level headed and calm about this share the facts, people get mad at us. And it's strange because the whole intent of what I'm doing here is for you to walk away from this profitable and for you to be really just calm and navigate this in a fashion that doesn't consume you in the process because that's what happens a lot of times with these theories is we get so invested in it emotionally that we get blinded by the day-to-day -day and what we could be doing to really capitalize off of having a more level-headed approach so i think it's important and one of the few channels that since i started all the way back over here when i was talking about de-risking my xrp into this two dollar move of phase three i remember what it was like sharing that i was selling my xrp at a dollar twenty dollar forty dollar sixty dollar eighty and people were really upset with me at that time and it did not make sense because my ta pointed towards this was not ready to completely just keep going up into price discovery just yet. And even if it did, there's nothing wrong with taking profits. There's nothing wrong with that. We had the same moment just happened last year, July, 2023. Some of you might remember here on this channel, I talked about deep. So I'm gonna leave it there. If you guys did make it to the end of the video, comment water in the comment section below. Thank you for giving me 15 minutes of your day. I appreciate all the loyal support. Till next time.